big friendly truck here. Um, just driven 117 kilometers on some pretty small roads because it's over three hours. Um, we're on a Gona beach, uh, a, Gonda be a Gonda beach, I should say, sorry. Um, obviously a lot more life here, uh, a lot of yoga, a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, a lot of, lot of, sort of people. Um, we've got a little bit of Wi-Fi in the van at the moment. Maybe when we move, we might get something a little bit stronger with us, lots of bars and stuff with Wi-Fi. Obviously Raf's obviously, you know, a hook to Wi-Fi for his schooling and, um, and other things, messages and stuff like that. But we are allowed, we can send messages and things from where we are, which is great. Um, I didn't really stop and get any money or any food, which is probably a bit stupid at the end of the day, but um, it's now four o'clock in the afternoon. So I've been to the local cash machine, which they're filling up with uh, money. So hopefully in 20 minutes, I should score some cash. We can have a restaurant meal tonight. There are some sort of general stores and things around the area. So I can always get the old bike off the back and um, go and rustle up some shopping in some description. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a drive, trust me, narrow roads, lots of traffic and um, sort of happy to be here. Um, I just had a chat with, I think she was a Dutch lady and I just sort of said, you know, we've gone to the beach, have you found it? She said she's been here two months and absolutely loves it. So um, the beach looks fantastic, the sea looks lovely, um, it's clean, uh, certainly on the beach anyway. So um, hopefully we've made the right move and um, when the rest of the Wolfpack arrive, Ben and Julia and Marcus and Marius and, and maybe uh, the Waffles uh, and the other French family, maybe we'll have a, have a bit of a group and uh, that'll be pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to sign off for now and um, yeah, just thought I'd just keep you in touch with where we are and, and what's going on. I'm going to have a beer, wait for the cash point machine and um, fingers crossed it, it, use, it takes visa and I can get some money out and then we're okay. Tonight we can go out for a meal and we'll deal with food tomorrow. Cool, take it easy, speak for you now. Speak for you, blah, 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 blah. speak to you later. Take care, bye. Here we are, the Gonda Beach, the land of the beach bar, in every direction. We just had a really lovely meal and um, walking back towards the van. I don't know. Uh, it's all pretty cool here, hung out, hanging out with um, Australians, oh, tech, Swiss. Uh, I don't know, nationalities keep coming and uh, the meetings keep happening and uh, well that's kind of what really traveling is about, it's about the people you meet, not just the foreigners you meet on the road because obviously then you share experiences and stories, but also the, um, I'm just avoiding a big rock, uh, then you also uh, experience the stories and, uh, and, and the life of the locals, especially when you break down. Um, because then you rely on other people and you have to have trust and faith in, in what they're about and what they're doing. So um, it's all good life lessons really. It kind of puts that trust back into what they call human nature, you know. You're fearful that they're gonna mess things up, but actually when it comes down to it, generally they they sort you out. So um, anyway, I just thought I'd just post this one. It's dark, you can see, and um, it's just nice to be here. Uh, finally, I've been talking about it for the last few weeks getting to a Gona, a Gonda beach and uh, chilling out for a few weeks and um, now I'm here it's um well it's you know looking blissful so far I was talking to a Dutch lady earlier I uh, asked her how Gonda beach was for her and she said oh, I've been here for two weeks and I absolutely love it um, I said, she said how long have you been here I said well 20 minutes I'm just trying to get to the ATM to get some cash out so I can survive here but um sea's coming in it's a beautiful flat beach great for boogie boarding and uh Skimboarding, I have a skimboard on the roof, which I've been dragging around the world for 29,000 kilometers. So Raf's very excited to get that out tomorrow and have a go at skimboarding. And um, yeah, what's not to love, you know? Here we are, uh, Goa, India, 2023 Christmas coming up. New Year's gonna be starting here too, so um, we'll be welcoming the new year from Goa and India. Uh, anyway, I'll update you tomorrow. Once we find out where we're parked, it's fine. Um, ben and Julia are arriving tomorrow. And um, so hopefully the wolf pack will coming back together again. And there's another couple of vans filled uh, with people. So, um, you know, that's going to be enough really. You know, enough for a party and a bit of a fun time, you know, just hanging out, chewing the cud, talking about things, playing guitar, having fires and um, world travel. This is kind of one of the things you get to do. You know, it beats the shit out of being in an office. I can assure you are looking at emails every day. Um, so anyway, I'll catch up with you all soon. Um, uh, welcome to Goa, welcome to Agonda Beach uh, in the dark, and um, catch you all soon. Take care for now, bye.
Welcome to the uh, big friendly truck. Um, obviously just chilling out on a Gonda beach right now. Um, it's Christmas Eve. Um, got about five trucks here. Marius, the hitchhikers here, the wolf packs back together again. Ben and Julia, uh, Marius, uh, Marcus, uh, Jacob. Um, a couple of other people not, haven't made it so far. Um, maybe they might turn up in the next couple of days. But we're gonna have a big Christmas cook up. Um, swimming, you know, just taking it easy really. Um, yeah, not much else to report. Um, this is how it is. Um, going style, Christmas, and um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty lovely here. It's, it's a, there's a little bit of life. It's not too busy. There's not too much craziness going on. Um, so uh, yeah, we're just going to enjoy uh, kicking back and relaxing, and uh, see what happens next, as they say. Anyway, keep you all posted. Just a short little minute here, um, just to pop some time out there and um, so you all know we're, we're fine and alive and happy and enjoying ourselves. Anyway, speak to you all soon. Take care for now. Bye. Welcome to the Big Friendly Truck. It's uh, Christmas Day 2023. Um, we're all having a bit of a cook up here, so I just thought I'd you know, do a little bit of video of what I'm actually cooking here. Uh, I've got some julienne carrots ready to go here. That's uh, basically honey, sugar, and butter with carrots. Um, in the pan, I've got to cooking um, some chicken. We had to chop the chicken up. I wanted to do a roast chicken, but um, I've got roasted vegetables going on and potatoes in the oven at the moment. So, um, and the guy, when he butchered the chicken, because obviously it was a live chicken yesterday. Um, uh, didn't, didn't leave the chicken whole, he broke it in half. So Marius, my friend, came and chopped it up while I was prepping some other stuff. And then in the oven, as you know, underneath here, we've got two trays. We've got uh, roast, to, to roast uh, uh, potatoes on their way. And also we've got um, broccoli, peppers, onions, and uh, such, such things, and some, some uh, nice herbs in another tray cooking. So that's what we're cooking for Christmas Day in the, in the big friendly truck. Um, obviously there's some other people cooking all sorts of other things. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day, 32 degrees. Um, my son is off messaging people um, with the, with the, to, to say hello for Christmas. Anyway, there we are. Um, this is Christmas Day in the big friendly truck and what we're cooking. So um, you, we do eat properly. Um, hopefully we don't run out of gas, even though I've got some spare canisters. but. Uh, been running this last can that's been bought in Turkey since Turkey just before we got into Georgia. Uh, it was a big one but it's still, it's still cooking on it so it's amazing. Anyway, catch up with you all later. Happy Christmas everybody.
up with all the trucks set up. We have a music system. We have fire pits going on. And um, yeah, this is where it's going to be happening for the next few hours. So um, what happens when a random bunch of people all get together and everyone has the skills to put something special together for one night. Um, you know, have all the roof boxes and all the shed, sheds of the van. People, we've got a whole hardware system, music, lighting, and then the projections will come on later. So um, there'll be more videos to follow. But um, welcome to um, Overland Travel Goa, India, 2023, 31st of December. We've had to see the old year out and new year. In. That means this is the second year. Christmas we've been on the road and um, I don't actually know where we'll be for the next one um, so it's all pretty special anyway thanks for watching and uh, keep you posted have fun Uh, welcome to the big friendly truck. Um, obviously had a few days off from videoing here while we've been down in Goa. Um, we hooked up with some, some lovely people when we arrived down here. Um, Jan and his uh, Mrs. Um, Maria and uh, Peter from Australia and his Mrs. Eleanor from uh, Macedonia. Obviously Ben and Judy were here as well. Jacob was here. Uh, so there was a good group of us for a little while. They've, um, two of the vans have now headed off. So it's just um, me and Raf, uh, Ben, Julia, and um, Marius uh, left here quietly on January the second. Um, it's been a very fun, um, festive period. Um, so now it's sort of time to get down to you know, ordering some bits and pieces from the UK and organising some freight here, like a, the new clutch and some other parts, and just some other bits and pieces that I could do with for the truck, a new USB thing, and just some other little sods and odds and sods that can get sent out. Um, spend probably another couple of days here then I'm going to drive into town to the tool shop to buy the feeler gauges I need to adjust the uh, retort the head down and adjust the tappets and a big wrench so I can actually turn the engine over by hand uh, to get the tappets in the right place to adjust them. Uh, adjust the brakes, fix the air horn and um, check the diff oil uh, and sort of clean up the wheel which has got all the oil on it and see if once I've cleaned it all up again whether, you know, whether the leak's still there or, or not because um, you know, it could it, it doesn't seem to be getting worse, I don't know, so um, we'll have to see. we get the truck ready anyway. Um, the plan now is to, um, from here, is probably to drive um, on to uh, Kerala and towards the south again, because it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful down there. And, uh, and then we're going to try and swing around the bottom of India towards Sri Lanka um, and uh, get across the Sri Lanka. A ferry started running, it hasn't been running for 40 years. It takes cars, but I'm not too sure whether it takes vans or not. Plan there is um, I actually had my honeymoon um, with my late wife in um, Sri Lanka back in 2004, five, the year the tsunami hit Indonesia and Sri Lanka. So we had front row seats for a world disaster and I haven't been back since and me and my wife um, had always said for a long time that we'd like to go back and see the people or, or just go back and see Sri Lanka and see how, how it is now and nearly 20 years later. Um, to say thank you to any people who are left, obviously, because the Sri Lankan people were wonderful um, when we were there. Um, they caught caught in the tsunami, so they helped us sort of get out and, and move on. Um, just going to turn the camera this way. Oops, there we go. That's probably slightly better. So yeah, um, that's the kind of plan of action. Um, yeah, it's obviously a bit sad when we all break up and go off on our different directions again um but i say we're all kind of in india and we're all sort of heading around the same sort of places and, and directions so i'm sure there'll be a time when we might hook up again but it's good that we all have a break everyone goes off and does their own thing and then comes back and has new experiences to swap and share and um that's kind of overland travel really so um yeah just gonna have my cup of coffee wake up and um start a new day as I say I'm um, just charging my laptop and I'm going to go and get all these bits ordered and get that out of the way and then I'm going to start looking at some of the jobs I can do on the van and whether I can do them here or if I have to find a, a different surface to work on and obviously jacking up a, sort of a six ton vehicle on sand is even with axle stands can be problematic but I'm going to start sort of ticking things off the list take it easy for a couple of days cut back on the beers um, cut back on the cigarettes and um, regroup uh, etc 
uh, as I say, and hopefully get everything tick tock um, and ready to go so we can head traveling off around India and, and maybe hook up with everyone again. So that's the latest news for the screws today. And um, I've been enjoying things. Obviously, I've started to post again now. Um, and uh, we'll keep posting up the little videos, etc. And um, I say later on this afternoon, as been requested, a lot of you guys um, want a uh, interior truck sort of guide or what's going on with our truck. So uh, while I'm getting the ladder out and everything else, I'll, I'll take you through Ludo the Dudo, our build, um, and uh, how we live on the road in our big old Mercedes. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon. Take it easy. Bye for now.